Dave Eggers published his book What is the What? The Autobiography of Valentino Achik Deng in 2006. It is based on the story of Valentino Achik Deng, a Sudanese juvenile refugee who came to America as part of the Lost Boys of Sudan program. Valentino is a Sudanese refugee who lives in Atlanta. He lets a woman in, but she ends up stealing from him. Tonya searches Valentino's possessions as Powder holds him down. Valentino and Tonya depart after taunting him with the names Africa and Nigeria and taking a few belongings. They go out of the room, and as they depart, Valentino gets up from the floor to inspect the damage. When Powder and Tonya return inside, Powder gives Valentino a punch that is so powerful that Valentino fears for his life. Valentino awakens to find himself tied and restrained on the floor. In his kitchen, a youngster is watching TV. He starts to reflect on his time spent in Africa during his time as a lost boy of Sudan. At the time, he was attempting to escape the civil violence in Sudan by making his way to Ethiopia and Kenya. Valentino attempts to distract himself from the circumstances affecting him by reliving the beautiful day he had earlier. He recalls the day when he was in Mariel Bay, his hometown, with his buddies and the girl he had a crush on. Valentino is able to remove the gag that was placed over his mouth, and he shouts for the youngster to approach. Valentino persists despite the boy's efforts to ignore him. The boy finally stops Valentino from talking by dropping a phone book on his head. He finds out the youngster's name is Michael when the boy answers the phone. This prompts him to reflect about Mariel Bai during the early stages of the conflict. He describes the distinctions that exist between the Muslim Arabs and the Dinka, the two primary combatant groups in this conflict. While Valentino was assisting his mother in Mariel Bay, jets swooped above and began killing people on sight. He and his family were able to escape the attackers, but the next day, members of the government arrived and began torching the community. Deng Arrow, Valentino's grandfather, thought it would be prudent to relocate half of his family to a community that was nearby in the hope of finding better protection. Valentino's family, however, decides to relocate back to Mariel Bay after being questioned by troops working for the government. However, a significant portion of their home was destroyed in the fire. A week after moving back into their old house, members of an Arab militia rode through on their horses and began slaughtering everyone who is in sight. Valentino is separated from his family, so he starts running away. Michael, who has Valentino still tied and gagged on the floor, becomes restless and begins searching the house. Valentino is aware that Michael has discovered photographs of Tabitha, the woman he has loved his whole life. The memory of Valentino flashes back to the day when he marched with the Lost Boys and Dutma Jokers was in charge. They travelled from village to hamlet, pleading for assistance and requesting to be protected. When Tonya goes back to Valentino's house, she manages to load the remainder of his stuff into a minivan. Valentino tries to make his neighbors hear him by striking his tied feet on the wall, but to no avail. The lost youngsters, a group of approximately 250 boys, have not given up looking for a means to reach Ethiopia. They walk past many towns that have been burnt to the ground, and ultimately they come across a troop of soldiers who offer to share the flesh from an elephant that they have just slain. Because they are so hungry, several of the lads consume the meat in its uncooked state. Valentino still can't get anyone in his apartment to notice him. He recalls the day he met Mary, the Atlanta-based organizer of the Lost Boys Foundation. Valentino was able to get an apartment and a job thanks to her contacts. Valentino gets separated from the group upon reaching the desert and stumbles over barbed wire. Someone else rushes to his aid and starts to wrap up his leg. To escape the conflict, this man is concealing himself in a private home. 
They are let down when they get to Ethiopia since it resembles their war torn nation. Akor Akor, Valentino's longtime roommate and buddy, eventually gets back from his girlfriend's house. He says Valentino should call the police. A female police officer shows up at the apartment, but she doesn't care what happened to Valentino. She would rather hear more about what they did in Africa. Accor takes Valentino to the hospital, where they wait for more than four hours. Valentino recalls Tabitha's relationship with a violent Sudanese guy. Tabitha and Valentino started exchanging letters, and finally, she broke up with her boyfriend in order to be with Valentino. The youngsters in the Pinudo camp in Ethiopia are often complaining about being hungry. This is where Valentino met Akor Akor for the first time, and saw Moses, another childhood friend, again. The priest claims there is a white guy in the hamlet who brings good news. Back in the refugee camp, more and more boys are joining the SPLA to fight for Sudan. However, the troops become increasingly aggressive and brutal against the evacuees, and Valentino and his companions flee since it is no longer safe. Valentino finally arrives in Kenya after passing through two more camps on his journey. It is a long way from where the SPLA soldiers hurt people. He then flashes forward to the present and tells the audience that Tabitha's ex boyfriend recently killed her. When Valentino gets to Kenya, he has to make up a second identity so that the family he is staying with can get more ration cards. However, he gets tricked by a con artist, and he ends up losing most of his possessions. While in Kenya, Valentino meets Tabitha, and the two of them fall in love. In addition to this, he learns that both of his parents are still alive. That's all he can think about till he and Tabitha first kiss. Valentino leaves the hospital at about 5.30 in the morning. When he checks his voicemail, he learns that the institution he applied to will not accept him and that an acquaintance of his wants him to settle more than $10,000 in gambling debts. Valentino also received a phone call from a different friend who encourages him to participate in a protest for the crisis in Darfur. Valentino and his friends at the Kakuma refugee camp find out that the United States will let the lost boys move there. But as each of his friends leaves, Valentino remains stuck in Kenya for years. He doesn't get on the list until he has a bad car accident. Valentino gets to America after a number of plane trips and being held up by the 9-11 terrorist attack in New York City. Valentino thinks about his life and tells himself that he will do well in the future. He also says that he will never get tired of telling his story. If you have any suggestion, please let me know in the comments, and if you enjoyed this, please like and subscribe.